trains are going fast. I mean, I don't think I've ever rode a bullet train like this. It's going real, real fast. It's just like throwing me around. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Come and See with BLT, where I, BLT, discuss my new life in South Africa, travel, lifestyle, a little bit of luxury, and basically all things Black Boy Magic. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button and become a part of this family. Let's get into it. So today I have a very special video with, for you guys. I am going to Venice with my bestie. Say hey. Girl. She rude. Say hey. Thanks. So we're going to Venice today. Um, super excited about it. Wasn't really going, but Jerome made a last minute decision for us to go. So we're gonna go and have a good time. We haven't, we don't have any real plans. Where are we staying? Hilton. Hilton what? Um, Hilton Molina Stuckey. Hilton Molina Stuckey. So we'll see. I'm very excited. We're taking the fast train. Is this the fast train? Taking the fast train. So it should be fun. It's a three hour journey. We, well, not we, he decided that we'll take the premium seats. <laughs> business seats. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, supposedly comes with like complimentary drinks, a little snack, and um, he is hungry. So let's go. Guys, the snack is very light. They gave me a muffin. This little thing right here, I already took a bite out of it. It's actually pretty good. Um, this is the name of it. It's actually tasty. It's like a carrot banana muffin. And they gave me a little drink. I had to go buy my own croissant. So, get you a snack. <laughs> yes, Jerome. Heavy on the light. Yes, very heavy on the light. Get you a snack. Cause you're gonna be hungry. <laughs> you're gonna be hungry. Guys, I just arrived. That was a very long three hours. <laughs> I'm happy we finally are here. We're gonna try to get, um, I guess, like a water taxi or whatever and go to the hotel. Guys, this place is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I mean, everyone told me that it was beautiful, but it literally is something out of a storybook. It's insane. The boats, the people, the buildings. This is crazy. Look at these boats. So we had to stop and get Jerome a snack because he was hangry. And now we're about to head to the hotel. Okay, calm down. We're about to head to the hotel, um, but we have to take um, a ta water taxi, of course, and it's A or B, so we're trying to locate that. And it is hot as hell out here, y'all. I, I failed to mention that because I was in awe of how beautiful it is, but it's hot as hell. Y'all, and here come our little boat bus. 
Uh, it's like a thousand million people out here. Let me show you. Lord, is that supposed to happen? <laughs> Jesus. I'm on a boat, y'all. I'm on a boat in Venice. The view ain't that good right now, but as soon as the view get good, I'll show y'all. Okay guys, we have finally arrived a couple feet away from the hotel. We're just gonna go inside, change. Oh god, oh, oh lord. Change and um, get out and explore. I have a couple places I wanna see. So I'm excited. Let's go. Okay guys, we are out. Out and about. We're gonna try to go do a couple of things. St. Mark's. Uh, corner. What is it? St. Mark's uh, Square, and the stuff that's in that general area. We're gonna do that. We're gonna get some delicious food. We might try to do like a little boat ride on the canal. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Yes, I got my sunglasses on, guys, and no, I cannot see because I didn't get any content. Let's go. Okay guys, we have landed on the main island and we are going to go do a little sightseeing. First up is the, I'm gonna say it incorrectly, so I'm just gonna put the name on the screen. It's a beautiful Catholic church. One thing I was listening to on TikTok is that um, they're really big with carnival. It's like a big deal here in Venice. They have a lot of masks. Let me show you all these masks. Guys, there's so many people here and the lines are so crazy to get into things. I don't know if I'm going to have time to actually like go in and see things because a lot of things closes at like at five or six. Um, but I will be able to show you guys like the outside of things and then like other areas of Venice. So kind of sucks that I didn't really like research it and figure out the times that they closed because we did get to Venice pretty late. We didn't get here until like noon, almost one. Um, and it's already four. So I will show you guys as much as I can. Sorry guys, and I'm only here literally for a day. So I just read a sign, the last admission for most things is at um, 4.30. So I am not gonna make it in. It totally sucks. monuments I looked up look like are all concentrated in the same area and that's in the St. Mark's um, Plaza so yeah you come there it is One thing about Venice, they gonna have a lot of shops with a lot of masks, um, a lot of
lot of glassware, magnets, just a lot of cute shops. They're cute. And now we're lost in these back alleys. Girl, why the hell are we back here? We came inside of H&M to cool off because it's very hot. Um, uh-uh. Don't, no. We got this elevator. Uh-uh. They trying to get in our elevator. No. So all the men are, girl, she got a man. He got, he cute, he got a woman. It don't matter sometimes. <laughs> we we go into the men's floor, but every man's section is on the third floor, and we don't feel like walking. But the elevator's taking forever. Now we're trying to find a bar to get a few drinks before we go to a late dinner, and then we'll be on to our next stop tomorrow. to get um, some Aperol spritz. We are on our second one and Jerome is <laughs> definitely posing for Instagram right now. He is here for the Instagram likes. Um, so we're gonna have this drink um, and then we're gonna find dinner. Jerome wants a steak, I want a pizza. Uh, so we have to find a restaurant. A healthy compromise. So I'm not sure where we're gonna go, but we'll figure it out. We came to dinner at this place called I don't know the name of it, I'll just add it. Um but yeah, it's very delicious. Hungry. We haven't eaten since earlier today. What time? Like eleven, like eleven. And they gave us free prosecco for some reason. We left one restaurant because the wait was taking so damn long. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? First, they didn't want to sit us, seat us in the area that Jerome wanted to sit. It was weird, and then like this other person came and sat down. So then it was like, hold, hold on, hold on, and then we sat somewhere else. But yeah, so we came here, and the food is actually really good. So, and that's a wrap on Venice, guys. Um, what would I say about Venice? It was nice, right? It was. It was I felt like you was able to see everything that you can do the next time you were there. What? I we missed like, the museum. No, I'm talking about, I'm saying as if you, you have an idea of what to do, so next time you go, you Very know where true. to go and yes, what yes. to do. Yes, yes, yes. Where Very to true. eat at, where to walk around to, where okay, to shop. Okay, calm down. This ain't your channel. <laughs> I'm used to it. My bad. Yeah, Lee. But yes, we will both say come to <laughs> Venice. It was fun. It was a good time. It's a city on water. It um, is. So yeah, definitely come. No city how many like stars? Actually. How many stars? Um, I would give it probably four stars out of five. Four out of five. Four out of five, definitely. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I would give it a four. What's not point five. five for you, girl? This is an outro. Wait, it ain't gonna be oh. that long. Oh my bad. <laughs> I would give it a four point five. Um, but yeah, you guys definitely come visit. It's worth 
the trip. I would have came a day before. Now that I think about it, and spent the whole day yesterday. And spent the whole day yesterday. That's what I would suggest. Right, because we didn't know what time the museum was and everything. We didn't know what time things were gonna close. The food is phenomenal. The food was good. I should have tried that pasta with the scampi. First of all, it's scampi. Scampi. In this vlog, guys. And as always, be good to others, but also be good to yourself. Say goodbye, Jerome. Toodaloo. <laughs>